Hey guys, uh, Trapper Dad here. I know it's been about a week since I put a video out. We have had the craziest weather this last week. Um, obviously, the last video you seen was our first snowfall. And Remembrance Day. Um, after that, the weather got warm. It started melting. Um, Remembrance Day, we were putting in snow sets. Not using dirt at all, just using plain snow. I made some videos on how to do that. Well, over the weekend, it got warm. And it melted. And my traps were setting, just sitting, like, basically on the ground. We, we kind of rolled with it. We moved them back to the dirt hole sets. We we tried that. Then it got cold. It would warm up through the day. It would be melting. Freeze at night. Well, what does that do to our dirt? The moisture gets into the dirt during the day. Freezes at night. Then it's froze solid. Not going to catch anything. Uh, we fought with that. We haven't caught anything since that one raccoon on Coyote Lane way back into the videos there uh, it's been a tough go we've been fighting the weather pretty hard we only have I want to say six trap yeah six traps out about that yeah about six traps I've been doing the filming when we go out and check but I mean it's just it's empty set after empty set uh, it's getting a little disheartening on me but um, it looks like the weather's going to stabilize here now. We just went through what I would say our second winter storm. Uh, it was windy, it was blowing, it was snowing, it was cold. And so I didn't expect anything to move and like I expected nothing moved. We haven't caught anything in the last few days. And I know that's part of trapping. And I should be putting a video out but... Um, I feel like not much is really happening on the line. We're fighting the weather. And maybe that's what you guys want to see is what we're doing every day. Trying to stay one step ahead of the weather. I kind of find that just part of trapping. I don't find it that interesting. So that's why I haven't put a video out. Um, today is November 18th. Um, just in the shed here tonight I skinned I didn't skin but I fleshed out and boarded uh, the raccoon that we caught on that little trail set uh, trap number three I called it and I fleshed and boarded the raccoon that we caught out at Coyote Lane both turned out to be very nice raccoons I heard uh, just the other day I got a text message from trapper or triple nickel trapper that he's got another big raccoon sitting in the freezer for me so we're gonna go up there in the next couple of days here and pick that up we'll bring it back thaw it out skin it put it on a board as well um, maybe we'll do a skinning video on that one actually we'll kind of show you about how we go through how we how I put up my raccoons and then our next coyote that we'll catch we'll do a skinning and demonstration kind of how I put up those so I know I talked briefly about it here but I think that's what we'll do um, so yeah, this weekend we are going to focus on getting the line back in shape. Uh, we are definitely going to bring you guys along. We're going to do some videoing on how we dig out, how we adapt to all these changes that we've had in the last week. Looks like the weather's going to stabilize. Uh, with the amount of snow out there, it's going to be kind of a hybrid. Some areas will be able to do snow trapping, like in the bulrushes and stuff where my trails cut through the cattails you know that all have caught a lot of snow we can we can make snow sets in those other areas hilltops places that blew clear we're probably still going to be fooling around with some dry dirt and some wax dirt uh, I don't use a lot of wax dirt I, I like my dry dirt and my peat moss but uh, we'll show you those sets so sorry for the hiatus this is kind of just a little hey guys I'm still out here video 
And, uh, so yeah, today's Friday. We'll say Sunday, Monday, we'll come out with another video. And that's going to be a very much a how-to video. It's going to be fixing the line, getting the line operational again, fighting with these traps. Uh, where, where can we make a dirt hole set? Where can we make a snow set? Uh, we're going to show you guys that stuff. We're going to take you along on it. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy. If you want to see more of these how-to videos, let me know in the comments. I absolutely don't mind making them. If you just want to see a lot of high high yield catches, well, now that the weather's stabilized, hopefully we can get back on that. We can start catching coyotes every day like we were at the start of this season. Uh, that was a lot of fun for me. I really enjoyed it. And I, I do like it. I Everyone loves pulling up to a trap and seeing a coyote in the trap or seeing whatever your target animal is or even a non-target. I mean, like these raccoons, they weren't a target. They come by, they stepped in our uh, in our footholds, and uh, we'll take them, we'll make use of that fur. We'll uh, skin them out, dry them, and uh, market them. I mean, there, no sense in wasting them. Uh, skunks, those are a different story. They stink. My dog sleeps in the skinny shed. She does not like the smell of skunk, that's why I toss the skunks.